figured I'd do a quick uh, video on my little boat. Oh, it's a Pelican Bass Raider. So I got this cover for it off of Amazon. I usually keep it behind the shed over here, but I just pulled it out to do a quick video on it. So I'm gonna get this cover pulled off and uh, then we'll get started. Well, folks, this is it. If y'all ain't got a Boston Terrier, y'all ought to get you one. But anyway, uh, this here is this Pelican Bass Raider, obviously. Uh, I didn't get video of it, like when I was doing the stuff to it. And I wish I would have. I did get some pictures, though, and I'll probably put in some of the pictures at the end of the video of what uh, stuff I was doing to it. I'm not done with it yet. I got a few things I still want to do to it. Uh, but anyway, so I did the flooring in it. I had some half inch uh, plywood and I painted it with some Ace Hardware brand oil based outdoor paint and it does pretty good. You just put a thin coat, uh, let it dry and then for like a few hours put another thin coat and then let it sit for a couple of days and then you're good to go. The carpet I got from BoatCarpet.com. You know, I looked around at some places. I'm the type of person I like to get local, you know, buy local if I can. There's people I know or small plate mom and pop places. But uh, nobody had anything or it was really big and expensive pieces that I didn't need all that much of or they didn't have anything at all. So I went to BoatCarpet.com and they had <coughs> two, uh, they had a six foot square piece. And these pieces of plywood, the, what I needed was eight foot three inches. And obviously the plywood piece is only eight foot. So I just cut two pieces out, you know, measured everything, marked it up, cut it like it needed to be. And uh, so I took those, that six foot square piece and I just split it in half and uh, covered each section with it. And uh, it was pretty cheap, it was like 40 bucks. I was like, hey, you can't beat that for marine grade carpet, 40 bucks. And it was just enough for what I needed. All I only had to do was trim around the edges of it. The seats, uh, that one's just old, kind of rough. But these come off an old bass boat. Somebody gave to me just leather seats. And they're actually pretty expensive when they're new. <coughs> I think they're, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars. But anyway, they, they lock down. And you push them in the back here, let them up. This one's in pretty decent shape. This one never got used that much. I think it was on the back. That one was on the front of the boat that got used the most. And, uh, man, these are comfortable. You can ride, sit on them things for hours and not even... Your back don't hurt or anything so i like those i got a seven inch <clears throat> seat riser on this one they got some at walmart i saw this same kind but i had ordered that off amazon because i they didn't have any at the time but a seven inch seat riser helps out i'm six foot five so you know that helps me out a lot riding you know, i could spin around prop my feet on the sides over here and uh be comfortable and then this seat i just left without a seat riser for anybody that goes with me you know the shorter whatever like my dad he's he's pretty tall he's like six uh two or six one now he's getting older he's shrinking but he's like six two but even he can sit comfortably on there and it's not too bad for me being as tall as i am i just threw some tape where there's it's starting to crack a little bit like dry rot but uh anyway they're pretty good so that's the seats i'll show you this uh carpet what i did so anyway I just cut, like I said, my two sections and, uh, you know, glued, put the, the glue on it and let it sit, get tacky, laid it down on the carpet, uh, trimmed around, you know, stapled it, whatever with a staple gun. I had an air gun, so it was quick and easy, but uh, it turned out pretty good. And it just comes in and out. You can take it out whenever. Uh, and obviously the back piece, that's just my paddle, just in case you get up the creek uh, and your battery battery goes dead on it of course life jacket but uh put that back there's my life jacket it's a pretty neat little life jacket actually it's onyx uh brand or whatever it's got the little pocket there i kind of like that i don't ever wear it really unless i need to uh i got my trolling motor here i had an older one but it was getting kind of wore out <coughs> so i bought this one 55 pound uh thrust Minn Kota. And it pushes this little boat. I mean, pushes it, pushes it just fine. Um, this here battery box. It's a marine grade battery. I already had the battery. It's a pretty good size marine grade battery. I already had it for a, a clay thrower because I shoot. And uh, so I just bought the box when I got this boat. Put it in there. I can use it for either one. And it's got the quick 
connects here I may do a separate video on this later I don't know it's got quick connects here it even infuses it even tells you how much battery life you got but uh yeah that 55 pound encoder I mean it it does just fine um this thing this battery I mean it was on three quarters of the way charged I took it to the lake rode around I don't know half a day and it was still like three quarter maybe even half I don't know it never got under halfway charged so it lasts a long time I mean, you can go way off and of course just in case you need a paddle you got a paddle but um I mean I like to keep it simple so there ain't a whole lot on here this is a mount this is a Scotty mount uh for my little fish finder I got a portable I'm gonna get a different fish finder eventually I just had a portable one I could take on my kayak or on this whatever Put my suction cup pad here i got a mount that goes on the bottom of it it screws in the bottom of it and a uh, suction cups on there and then the arm let it sticks in there and you just let it down with the transducer or up or whatever and hook up the cable and that works that works really good um that's pretty simple i just got a little like a tent stake kind of just has some string tied to it so like if i come up <clears throat> Well, if it's going to get on the boat or whatever, I can just stick it in the ground out there, you know, so it doesn't just drift off on me or whatever, and I can leave it out in the water so I can get on and off easy. But, uh, that's pretty much it. I like to, uh, I like to keep it simple. I got a few other things I want to do to it. I'll probably put, like, a, uh, a GoPro mount somewhere on here so I can go fishing and video some stuff while fishing or, you know, whatever, get off on the river or the creek somewhere over here. We got a few creeks over here. We got the Tallapoosa River, uh... So I get off wherever, get some, some pretty scenery, you know, I can do some videos on it. But uh, that's pretty much it for now. And uh, just do a few other little modifications, and I'll probably do some videos on those as I go. And of course, if anybody, if you're familiar with this boat at all, it's got, it's the 10E, uh, Pelican Bass Raider 10E, and it's got these wires already pre-run uh, to the back. So you can put them on there for like a trolling motor on the front, the plug, it's just a 12 volt plug here. It's got a little cover for it, whatever. Or if you got like a fish finder on the front, you could wire up a, that kind of plug on it and run it, run it to the plug it in the front and just plug it in the back back here on your battery. It works. I mean, it worked great. But like I said, I had the portable one now, so I wasn't worried about it. But eventually, that's what I'll probably do is splice a, a plug like that on the front and then use it for my fish finder because, you know, when you got your uh, trolling motor on here, these just slide under there quick. So, uh, so I paid $689 for this boat and, uh, you know, plus the tax or whatever, get it registered. But that, I mean, trolling motor, I got 250 bucks in or whatever. The battery box, I mean, it's a Newport Vessel box. I got Minn Kota brands too, but anyway, it works good. It was like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, seat riser was pretty much cheap, free seats because they were given to me. I've had them in the shop for like three or four years, just sitting around it, had nothing to put them on. So I had, I mean, I got like, in all of this, even like the cover, I got $1,200 probably in this whole setup. I mean, you couldn't put $1,200 in, in that bass boat, fix it up and use it. So this was perfect for me, man. I can get just about anywhere in it. Uh, I mean, you can go in the big lake. You know, as long as you're not trying to go all the way across and up the river or whatever and then turn around and come back. I mean, you can get pretty much anywhere. You just have to drive, you know, maybe to the next boat ramp on it or wherever if you're way off. But get anywhere on creeks, shallow spots, you're not worried about hitting stuff. I mean, it's it's a good little boat. So, I mean, I, I would recommend it to somebody who didn't have a whole lot of money, you know, and just want to get out there and go fishing. I've been doing a lot more fishing here lately, especially with coronavirus going or whatever. So... But man, it's a good boat, so I guess that's all for today, guys.